What's up mages, Micah here. Today we are talking about wild cards. What are they? What do you use them for? And how do you get them? So wild cards, guys, if you are new to MTG Arena are these cards that allow you to open up more cards. And what I mean by that is that when you get a pack from MTG Arena, you open it up and inside that pack you get cards. Those cards help you fill out what's called your collection. And when you fill out your collection, a lot of the times you end up with one, maybe two, maybe three of a card, but never four, never a full set. Four cards are typically what you want when you're going in to play a deck. So let's say I was gonna play a deck where the main focus is a card called Indulging Patrician. What I would mainly wanna be able to do is have four of Indulging Patrician inside my deck. The reason for this is statistically, it increases my odds of drawing that card. Since in MTG Arena, you wanna focus four or any Magic the Gathering game you play that is standard you want to end up having a 60 card deck right and so when you have your 60 card deck you want to be able to have a good chance of drawing your main cards if our main card is indulging patrician well having more of them simply means that i get to have a better chance at drawing them so when we're looking at mtg arena guys you can see here on the back end if we go over to the pack section i've got 14 packs here if i open up a pack these packs will have cards in them let's go ahead and open one of these up and so we can see immediately guys and this is perfect the way we drew this we ended up opening up these cards now when we open these cards whenever we open a pack what ends up happening is we get these blips up here and so you get rewards for opening packs so as you open packs you get one of these little notches filled up so for this one right here you get rewarded an uncommon wild card whenever you open one two three four five six packs you get an uncommon wild card we'll go into how to use these more in a minute but whenever you open six packs you get an uncommon wild card whenever we open one two three four five six also we'll either get a rare or a mythic rare wild card what we can use these wild cards for is getting cards that we do not have in our collection of that type. So if they're uncommon, common, rare, or mythic rare. Also, when you open up packs, you will see, let's go ahead and click this card here, see what we got, awesome. When we open up packs also, guys, you'll see that sometimes you get wild cards in them. So you can see I got a common wild card here, right? And you can see right here, it says redeem this wild card for any common card by adding the desired card to your deck. And I'll show you how to do that in just a moment. So every time we open a pack, we have a chance of getting some wild cards. And also as we open up six packs, we end up unlocking an uncommon wild card as well as a mythic rare or a rare wild card. And again, those can just be traded in for that card type. Now, as you open these wild cards up, you'll actually be able to check their collection up on this Lotus. If I hover over this Lotus, you'll see right here, it says 20 common wild card. These are the wild cards I have right now. I have 20 common wild cards, 15 uncommon wild cards, two rare wild cards, and two mythic rare wild cards, okay? And then right here, if I hover over this, you'll see at the bottom, it says one more pack until your next uncommon wild card. If I hover over here, it says 10 more packs until your next rare wild card four more packs until your next mythic rare wild card. So it lets you know what your progress is. So now let's go ahead and head over to the deck section over here. And when we're on the deck section, you can click down in the bottom left and hit collection. When you hit collection, you can see all of the cards that you have. And if I look, what you'll see right above the card. So for instance, Professor of Symbology, I have one collected in, in our inventory out of four okay now you can have more than four of something but four is a collection of that card okay so i've got one right now if i click this advanced filter right here i can actually sort by cards that i only have one of just by clicking this or if i wanted to see cards that i have two of i can look at my cards i have one and two of or just two of same thing with three and same thing with four. So let's say I wanted to look at just the cards that I have three of right now, meaning that I'm almost at a full set, but I don't quite have a full set for it. I would just then hit okay. And I would see all of the cards that I have three, but not four of. Now, something to also pay attention of to here, guys, is that sometimes you'll have, like I said, those other cards in just a different style. So I'm going to click three and one just to show you this example, because you want to be careful with this. So let's go over to a card specifically, Leonin War Leader. OK, I'm actually just going to type it in because I know for an ins for a fact here on Leonin War Leader, I actually have four of them. So it shows just three. Let's do this. Let's open this up completely. Hit OK. I'm going to type in Leonin. 
And so this is why you gotta be careful with this. And take that. Lean and War Leader right here. You can see I have three right here from the MTG. See where it has that little A symbol over by Creature, Cat Soldier, and then there's the A. That means MTG Arena only card. But you can see right next to it, I also have two of them that were from the M19 set as well, okay? So I technically have five of that card, so I really wouldn't wanna pay to unlock that card. So you gotta be careful. What I would recommend doing is, let's say you wanted to unlock a card to get the fourth one of it. What I would do, I'm gonna click the filter, I'm gonna go to three again, I'm gonna take a look, and let's say I wanted to get this fourth Ajani's Welcome, okay? If I just click on it, it's gonna tell me craft right here, and it says that crafting will consume one on common wild card. Important note, this cannot be played in the current standard format. So that's something to let you know, like, hey, this is an M19 card. You can play it in historic, you can't play it currently in standard. Okay, so that's something important to know, but it'll show me how much it'll cost me to craft this card. It'll also show me over here how many I actually have those wild cards I have. Okay. And then if I click this button right here, it'll show me if there are also any card styles available for it. So I'm not gonna unlock it, but let's say we did want to get the fourth of Janie's Welcome. We were gonna play it in Historic or something. What I would do just to make sure that, you know, I don't already actually have other versions of it, I would untick the three, hit okay, make sure that basically I have no filters selected here, okay? Just collected is the only thing. And then I would come up here and I would type in a Janie and hit enter so i can see i only have three of a janie's welcome i'm it's safe to say if i wanted to unlock the fourth one all i'd have to do is click on it and then hit craft okay so it's really important to see you can also see here's another card of janie's last stand i only have one of it if i wanted to craft the other three that way i could have all four of these because i really like this card and i wanted to use it in a deck that i have and i don't have the other three i could click on it it would tell me it costs one rare wild card to craft I only have two. So I would be able to have a total of three of this card and I wouldn't be able to have the fourth one yet until I get my next rare wild card. And again, if we go back to our packs, we could see we don't get our next rare wild card. Let's hover over this, it says 10 more packs until our next rare wild card. And that's if we don't get one in the pack, but majority of the time you're gonna get uncommon wild cards inside of your pack or common wild cards. So another thing guys, while we're here, because this just popped up and I just saw it, if you notice this deal, make sure, and I, I didn't put this in my gold video, but this is something to check in on. All the time they're doing deals where they'll offer like gems or gold and things like that, and you can get them like really cheap. So look at this, I can get 550 gold for just 50 gold, okay? So yeah, I'm gonna roll 50 gold into 550 and get ourselves some extra gold. So make sure, that's cool that that popped up just now, make sure that you take advantage of that when that comes through. Now, one other thing I do wanna point out, guys, is that if you are doing a draft or you are doing a sealed event, you get these beginner packs right here, these limited packs, I say beginner, but these packs for playing in that draft or sealed event, and these are limited packs. So these will not have wild cards in them at all. You use them when you play. Now, the rewards that you get, these are regular packs down here that you can unlock for the rewards, and these can still have a wild card inside of them and they can also go towards your blip over here for unlocking and unpacking those cards so those end up just piling into this section over here and that is only for the rewards again the cards that you actually play with though in the event you cannot you won't get any wild cards for those so guys that's how you get wild cards how you use wild cards in the game and how you unlock more cards really wild cards are really awesome to complete your set complete your collection be able to complete decks that you don't have i mean i've i had a lot more wild cards at one point and i ended up spending them because i would play in events and ranked events and stuff and i would see people playing combos and i didn't have those cards i wanted those cards and so what i did is i used wild cards to get them you don't have to have one of a card Card to end up using your wild cards to get them you could have none of a card and you could use wild cards to get them and so you might be wondering how you would see that so really quickly let me just show you here if you wanted to let's say you didn't have any of a card and you wanted to be able to get it if you click on decks go to collection and then in here click the filter and click not collected and then untick collected and then hit OK you'll see all the cards that you haven't collected in here and then you can also just we could say we want to collect it and not collect it and you knew a specific card that you wanted to search you could go ahead and search for it right so for instance here let's say i wanted to look for a rester zeal i would just go in here and i would type in you know a rester right and i would be able to pull it up i would see them and if i wanted i could click on them and if i click on them it would tell me it would be one to craft one on common two craft and i would just use four of them to uncraft and get 
the full set of those cards. So that's, again, you don't have to have one of a card to be able to craft, right? Wild cards are great and they can be used very well in that instance to open up cards that you don't have. Also, let's say that you wanted to pull a net deck off the internet and you wanted to play with that net deck. So a lot of sites will actually show you what wild cards are needed if you don't have those cards in your set as long as you have it connected to your MTG Arena account. One of these sites, for instance, is Etherhub. At Etherhub, as long as you have the MTG Assistant program downloaded on your computer and you have it linked to your MTG Arena account, you'll be able to see what decks, like if you're looking at a net deck list, you'll be able to see what cards that you would need wild card wise to be able to craft that deck. Let's say we want to play this mono red aggro deck that is, you know, playing 17.58% of meta and has a 59% average win rate. Well, then we would need 30 uncommon, we would need 30 common wild cards, six uncommon wild cards, 13 rare wild cards, and 11 wild, rare and 11 mythic rare wild cards in order to craft this deck. And if you go in further and you click on the actual deck itself, you can come over here to compare, click the little icon right here, and it'll show you the exact cards that you are missing, which is awesome. So guys, that's it for this video and how you use wild cards. If you got any questions, drop them in the comments below. Make sure to leave a like on this video if you like it. Consider subscribing to the channel. I come out with new MTG Arena content every single day, and I'll see you in another video.